around 350 million people infected with hepatitis B. The prevalence of hepatitis B, of course, differ in different regions. In Western Europe, it's more or less, less than 1% of the population. In Turkey, it's 4%. In China, it's 9%. In Sub-Saharan Africa, it's again more than 7-8%, uh, so hyperendemic areas. Industry and physicians have to inform the public about the detrimental consequences of hepatitis B. One problem with hepatitis B infection is that for the most time hepatitis B is asymptomatic. So unless you are not tested, you would never know that you have hepatitis B. 1998 was the year where hepatitis B treatment was revolutionized through nucleoside analog treatment. And now we are finding out that although it has revolutionized treatment, the cost and the duration, the length of treatment is an issue. And in that regard, in this meeting, there were several papers on the issue how treatment can be shortened uh, without losing any benefit of treatment. Hepatitis B is endemic in areas of the world where uh, resources are limited and treatment is reimbursed not at all or only with restrictions and if you can make the treatment more affordable by shortening treatment period uh, that would be uh, for the benefit of the patients more patients would probably be able to get the treatment. A cure for hepatitis B will be a little difficult to achieve. The problem with hepatitis B is that in uh, hepatitis B the virus integrates itself into the nucleus of the liver cell. And to get rid of the hepatitis B virus is difficult. One possibility is to influence the immune system, that the immune system gets rid of the cell with the virus. Another potential possibility is to have a mechanism through which the integration of the virus into the cell is disrupted. But all these developments needs time.